hi everybody welcome to my channel if you're new welcome my name is alma and here we go let's get started um today i have a mixture of brands high and low and let's just do it okay i'm gonna use this okay so before before i use that i had to put vaseline around my nose because um it's still healing from when i was sick like over a month ago it's like really scabby feely. I don't know. I guess it's just healing from the irritation of the tissue when it's blowing my nose a lot. And I had to do that. So on top of that, I placed the MAC Strobe Cream Hydrant. I put it all over my face. And then on top of that, I decided to put this on because I just want it very moisturized and it is now so i feel like i'm ready for my foundation i'm going to be using the blur the nyx blair bear with me blur <laughs> blair i'm going to use my real technique sponge to apply it so i have some here and i'm just going to dab it all over my face and spread it out want you to see the difference between the half that has the foundation and the half that doesn't have foundation I actually like this product I'm gonna use the NYX bear with me concealer and I'm gonna use that for my eyelids Now I'm going to set using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder with this small fluffy brush. A smoothie. Okay, so I did my brows with the NYX Fill and Fluff Pencil. Okay, this is how they look. And my lids are set for the makeup, so let's do this. Okay, so the makeup that I'm going to be doing today is I want to incorporate this purpley, glittery, beautiful. I love this. It says face and body. I think you can use it on your lid. I don't know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a black eyeliner pencil and I'm going to just fill in the lash line. This is more of a nighttime look, I'm thinking, like a late night, date night or whatever. Late night, date night. Why is the pencil chipping? I don't know. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Okay, and it looks like this. Just trust the process. I know it's scary. So I put the liner most on the most of the part of... I put the liner on my lid. Mostly on my lid is what I'm trying to say. Now I'm going to go in with this palette. This one is by Urban Decay. It's the Gwen Stefani palette. And I pulled it out just because I'm going to use that dark blackout color. So I'm going to use that and pack it on my lid and spread it out a little bit. I said a little bit and I freaking overdid it. Okay, we can clean that out. Okay, 
Okay, so see how I kind of diffused it at the end? I didn't put any more color. I just blend whatever I had on the edge and I just diffused it. I know it looks kind of scary. I'm scared. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and I'm probably going to do a mistake or two, but I have a vision. I just have a vision. Just bear with me, please. I'm trying to open it. Okay, baby. And I'm going to get this purple right here with the same brush. I cleaned it up, and I'm going to grab it. Oh, my God. Why is it trans? Oh, because it's wet. Duh. Okay, so... I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna use that on the outer part of that dark shadow. I had to switch brushes because the other one was wet. Anyways, I'm gonna place that right here. I wanted to give that purple on the outer part. Now I'm going to go in with the glitter primer and this one's by NYX. Everything's by NYX. Okay. And I'm going to put some on my finger like this. I'm going to place it all over the dark part. Now, careful now I'm gonna get the lid and put some of the glitter on the lid like this wow look at that color it looks pretty and I'm gonna get it with my eyeshadow brush by Mac and place it all over Got a lot of fallout. That looks beautiful. Oh my god. Careful, mommy. You like it? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Careful, because you're going to knock it all down. Hold on. Yes, thank you, baby. Hold on. Now I'm going to get my regular face powder. This one's by what? I mean by L'Oreal. No. No. And I'm just going to place no. that under my brow. No. 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 A little bit. No. Back with the black eyeshadow. And with my smudge brush, I'm going to place that on the bottom. Ah. That was a lot. Okay, tap some of it off and place it on the bottom. Should look like this. Now I'm going to curl my lashes, put my mascara on, put some lashes on, and I'll be right back for the rest of the face. Okay, so my lashes are on. The ones I'm using today are by Kiss, of course, and they're number 11, and they look very much like the Ardell Wispies. Very, very similar. And the glitter, I haven't mentioned, sorry. Uh, the glitter I use is by NYX, and it's violet. Number 11, it says, okay? 
so now let's clean up the face because there's a lot of fallout i swear this look is very out of my comfort zone i i have done dark looks like this but they scare me because i feel like i overdo it and then at the end of the night i look sweaty and glossy and this and that so i was like i want to do a look like that because you know i want to give it a try and not be too scared about it so now i'm gonna go back in with the serum with the concealer and this one's by nyx again i'm gonna get get this one by real techniques get some on it and just clean up the bottom of my eyes down my nose too because i got some streaks there I'm just using the brush to place it on because I don't want to rub it off, rub off my makeup and everything. So I'm going to place it with my brush. Get some more. And I'm going to get my sponge by Real Techniques, my makeup sponge, and I'm going to blend it with that one. Now I'm going to pull out my Laura Mercier Brightening Under Eye Powder and I'm going to use that. I'm going to use as much as possible and place it under my eyes. Now I placed, I should have done it on camera, I forgot to turn it on, but I placed a little bit of concealer on my center of my forehead. And this is just to brighten up the I swear, dude. It's just to brighten up the face. And I'm gonna get some more concealer, put it on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna place that on my chin a little bit and blend it. Lily is just being extra. Okay, so I'm going to get the Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer. And this is my angled brush by Eco Tools. And I'm just going to bronze up or contour or whatever a little bit around my face. I said a little bit. And Mommy, I'm going to go to the kitchen. Again? Mommy, I'm going to go to the kitchen. Okay, we'll go right now. Now I'm going to get my Super Dewy Liquid Blush by Makeup Revolution and the color of it, it is, I don't see no color name, Fake the Flush, I don't know. So what I like, how I like to apply it is I just put some on my finger and just dab it off. Now I'm going to get a fluffy brush, this fluffy brush, this is by Real Techniques, and I'm going to take off some of that powder from under my eye. I want it to stay bright, but just taking off the excess powder. Okay, so the color that I picked for my lips, I think fits really well with this look, and I pulled out the vinyl lip by Maybelline, the Vinyl Ink Lipsticks. This one is called Golden 105. And I think it goes really well with this look.
and I'm not wearing no lip liner. I'm just, I just dabbed off the lip oil I had on and I'm just placing this on. And now I'm gonna set it with this e.l.f. mist and set spray. And this is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of scary in the beginning, but I pulled it off. This is exactly how I wanted it to come out. I am so happy with the outcome. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for everybody that has subscribed. Thank you for helping me out, helping my channel out. I really want this to grow. And everybody that hasn't subscribed, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. I really like how this lip goes really well with the eye look um this is definitely a date night look or a clubbing look ready to go to the club and party with the girls or your boyfriend or by yourself i've done that and yes thank you guys so much have a great day have a great weekend and stay safe and see you on the next video